It's a lovely, uh, lovely autumn morning, and uh, the Duke's decided to do some shed repairs. So uh, we're just taking these old panels off and put these offcuts on that we've got from the shed extension over there. We've got some offcuts saved in the stores, so we're just going to block this up because some big gaps between it. Stop the snow blowing in over the harsh winter we're going to get. All the old techniques, look, use the hammer as a pry. <laughs> we're just saying, the Duke's saying, we're not going for design and beauty awards with this repair. He says, but he did say that all the three sheets are the same colour, so that's a bonus. Well, I suppose not. <laughs> no, you're gonna have to. I'd have a bigger overlap. You can go bigger overlap and work your topping out. Then gust it top. That'll come down here, won't it? Mm. How much overlap we got? Sixteen. Well, that's plenty, isn't it? Well, leave it at that. Or just equal all three, so they look right. For another nail in that, hold that, and then put all up. You got that, Amy? Yeah. That will want to come down to cover yeah, them. Yeah, well, it, it should do. It, will do. it should do, yeah. Probably cover that on and all. And there's no holes in it. That's yeah. the size of the gap we're trying to fill. You can get your hand in there, look. See straight in, and the wind blows straight through, and it's a bit cold in the uh, lambing sheds. Machine going at it. Machine. <laughs> You're in. You're in. Jobs are good on. No, on oh, there. Right at top. Up a bit more. You're not you, you're not quite to the top. No, it's that bit up there. I'll let on John's side. That bit. No. All right. Cement that. Never breaks where you want it to, does it? Some put a bit in. Don't touch on there. Yep. Duke's side. Up there, right at top. Last bit of the puzzle is a rotten old piece of wood we've found. We've just denailed it. Not rotten. It's, turn it round, it's rotten on the other side. It's not. It's rotten at the bottom. And we're just going to wang some nails in there now to fill that gap in. And then Bob's going to mix some cement up and put a, like a sill on the bottom to deflect the water when it runs down. Yeah. Even using the same old nail holes, look. That's it, job done. Yeah. You waiting to see me at my finger? Yeah, I'm waiting to see you at your finger, yeah. There's joiners all over watching this, thinking, what's that hammer he's using? Mm. 
that's storm proof now. Yeah. That's it. Right, we're doing a bit more building maintenance now. We've gone and got the Manor 2 with a big bucket on. And uh, we've got some holes in the side of this shed here. We're just going to try and uh, patch them up with a bit of woodworm. I try and put those uh, wonky beams back in place up there. Bob's deployed the handbrake under the back wheel. <laughs> now we're uh, just going to have a look at them beams up there. We've got a bit of woodworm and I think the nails have rotted. Need to be a bit higher, don't you? Yeah, it's all right. You alright? What do you want after this while I pour a come round? Fencing piece uh, up on rollers. You want that really? Because it's got all nails. Well, I'll walk round then and fetch that. Right. And then yeah. you can get him book it. Then get him book it for my pins, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, is it all rotten? I can hear something creaking. Bob, Bob's gone to find a skirting board ladder to get in this bucket. Yeah. A bit of woodworm in here, look, look at these holes. The old worm. Make a sill. Put that like that, make a sill and then stack them on top, can't you? Well, a two minute fix here is turning into a major job, isn't it? Yeah. It's, that is rotten, look. Why do you cut a sheet? What and face it mm. and not bother with these putting these back in. Just put bottom on it. Mm. Just put bottom put, on it. Put that sill in and then put a sheet on. Mm. Yeah, that's it here. Yeah. Maybe you could put a timber up here. What are you deciding? How do you put a sheet in it like? Well, it's a bit sheltered from rain, isn't it? Yeah, I don't know. It's got so <laughs> Mm. Like We're like into that. square corner, aren't you, Job? Because then you could still sheep back. You get through to some a good deal, won't you? Cover that lot. So go through into it and to hold it like. Do you mean a plywood sheet or a metal sheet? Or a metal sheet, if you could cut it. And you'd probably put a timber up there, I think middle of middle it sheet. I don't know. Bob's coming up with a plan. It's really got to come out here, isn't it? So we're still in the Manor 2 bucket and uh, we're up here now, mending these timbers along here, all the back of the barn there, it was open, so we've, we're just cutting these planks in and putting them up just to fill that triangle into the top because the wind's blowing in there and uh, when it snows you get a build up of snow on, on the inside, but it's the old uh, railway sleeper barn, this one, and uh, we've got the new window in. It's that new, it's still got the cellophane on, look. Never been took off. <laughs> Lamming peds and handling racer down there. So yeah, just gotta put a centerpiece in there because we've got nothing to fix to in the middle. So we're gonna, Duke's just gone to get a screw and uh, a cordless drill. And then we're gonna put some, some screws in there Hold that in, then we've got something to nail to in the middle. You deal with that then, Bob. I thought you were going to wind that, didn't it? I did, I thought you were going to wind it in with your bare hands. Is it 
pulling it in. I'm just coming through. Right, Bob's uh, Bob's got an itch that needs scratching, and uh, we've had this safe give us, and it works, but we don't know the code. And we've had the battery cover off. We've had the battery off, and there's an emergency key in there, but we haven't got a key either, so we can't get in it. We think it's full of money because there's something inside it. So. The Duke's got his safe cracking kit here and we're going to try and we're going to try and cut a hole in the bike to press the reset button inside. You see what's in it. What's in it? What's in it? There's something. That'll be hot, that. There's something in there. That's how you crack a safe. It's all bolted in there. What is it? There's another box covering That reset button's there, though, on the side. I can see it. Bob's pressing reset button. That's it. Take that bit of hot plate out, then. Now we've gone to the top one, lit. Ah, we're in program mode now. <laughs> so now you've got to think of another number. No. Right, we've uh, cut a hole in the back. We've pressed the reset button. We've put the engineer's code in and it's opened. Now it's locked back up. So now it's locked back up. Yeah, you just said that. So, have we got to put the engineer's code back in? Let's have a look. Yeah. So we've got the door open, so we'll press the button. Oh no. It does open once. We've opened it, so we just can't shut it. Now whether we can reprogram it with a new code. So we'll open. But well, that's the reset button there, which puts it into program mode. I bet that's how it comes. I bet you've got to you've got to reprogram it. What's that? Thing here? What's what? It's a four SE three E, isn't it? What's that number there then? 35780. Yeah. I don't know, that's just a barcode, isn't it? Yeah. We've opened it once. We've opened it, so we've proved it works. We've just got to find out how to reprogram it. Yeah. Safe cracker Bob. <laughs> so uh, we've, we've, we've done it. I'll just put the code in. See, it's locked now. I'll just put the code in, but I won't show you, so you don't know what it is. And then uh, we'll open it. Well, there we go, there it's opened. It. It's easy enough, really, isn't it? It's, it's, it's one, yeah. two, three. That it? Are you level? I don't know. Yeah. Is it low level? I don't know, I can't see. That low level, yeah, roughly. There we go. Yeah, you've got to put thing in though to shut it, haven't you? Yeah, because it's. Uh... <coughs> 
Yeah. There we go. That's how you recycle a safe. We've uh, cut the back off, get in, press the reset button, and uh, reprogrammed it. So we can keep us prize screwdrivers in there now.